Hi, everyone, and good afternoon to you all. This is a wonderful day today. This is uh, Dr. Reverend Joanna Wells. <laughs> no more Johnston. I'm not Johnston anymore. Um, my partner and I, we, now my husband, we have just gotten married over the weekend. So it's a very, very exciting time. Yeah, he, I've been calling him my husband because, you know, in our hearts, we've already taken our oath to each other. We're in love. So of course he's my husband, you know, under, under our little uh, agreement. But we actually made it official last weekend. So we're very excited. So it's no longer Johnston. Just keeping that in mind. I'm going to be changing my name on YouTube soon. It is going to be Wales. Okay. So just wanted to say hi. And I'm actually feeling a lot better. Thank you so much for a lot of the comments out there asking questions like, are you doing? How was the operation? And, you know, it ha has taken a lot of, um, I've been able I've been able to take a lot of time out, so which has been in helping with my healing process, so which has been very, very helpful. Um, not only a sprained ankle <laughs> that I had to deal with last last month, but also having to go through this operation. So, you know, my, my body has taken a toll, but I am so happy to report back to say that I'm back. I'm here to kick ass and let's move forward. Okay. So I wanted to um, bring something up that was very, very important here. Um, regarding our website, our website, secure, securecreditor.com, is going to be moving onto a Iceland server. So we're very excited about that. Why? Because um, you are pretty much, you're allowed free speech. Free speech to share uh, whatever's on your mind, you know, especially this article that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. Um, you have a lot of freedom in Iceland, pretty much, and especially for those that are vloggers, bloggers that wish to speak something, off, you know, from their minds, especially the things that they're dealing with, with these private companies, if you know what I'm talking about, they are able to voice that on, in Iceland. So that's why we've decided to move our um, website there. Okay, so um, right now, I mean, it, it looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed. The website's going to be completely different because I just got a web developer who's absolutely fabulous and with a lot of experience is going to make the website look absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait. I'm very excited. It should be up and running probably tonight or tomorrow. So he just has to go through the little kinks there. Okay. Um, anyway... <laughs> Uh, a lot of changes have been made. So you, when you do go to the website, securecreditor.com, you're going to notice some things. Our location has changed. Our office is now in the UK. So I wanted to mention that. And it's a completely legitimate company. So you're going to find that out as well. Um, moving forward here, um, I wanted to go ahead and share with you something very interesting that one of my students have has actually shared with me, um, a news clip here that is talking about how these private companies, such as these cops or, you know, these police, uh, the police force that you believe is actually the police, but they're actually working for a private uh, for-profit company. What they're doing now, which is absolutely horrendous, I mean, absolutely horrendous, um, they are being trained by another, uh, some other private company and I'm, gonna, I'm just summarizing it right now before I even read it to you, <clears throat> that goes after people that have actually won money or have any money or just money stashed in the car or whatever. Um, this cop actually went after two professional poker players that actually lawfully and legally won at the casino. And while they were driving... Down the road, a cop pulls them over saying, oh, you didn't have your blinker on or you didn't have this on or some really stupid crap and decided to um, search their cars and seize their money, which was up to a hundred, which was actually a hundred thousand dollars in cash. So what happened was there was no reason to seize the money. They just went ahead and said, oh, we're going to seize this cash. This might be illegal criminal activity that you're doing. And so these the, the, the guys that actually won, the professionals, um, they took them to court and 
They still have yet. Well, actually, they said that finally they got their money back, but $10,000 is still missing from it. That Iowa actually took the state of Iowa. So I'm going to go ahead and um, read this. Uh, actually, I'm going to play this for you because I, I find it very fab fascinating. And I'm going to go further, um, get, in, get more into why it is very important to become a secure creditor. Because if these people were secure creditors, okay, they had their UCCs filed, everything, and these, this private company, I'm not calling them cops because that's not what they are. <clears throat> They're a private company working for the banks. And if you show them a UCC1, you show them your standing, which my, a lot of my other students have, they would have gotten away with it. And you would have had, they would have had the power to put a lien against these thugs that work for a private corporation, okay? Um, this is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm gonna actually s share with you something that you can do, something that you can do while traveling on the highways. Um, but let me get to that point later. Let me just have you watch this first. It's gonna blow your mind. Okay, actually, I can actually hear it out here, so I gotta, I gotta change my um, preferences. But you really, really, really need to hear this. This is so, so, so important. Um, let's see here. Okay, internal speaker. Well, maybe, maybe I can keep it in the internal. Let's see here. Uh, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Let me see if this actually works here. <clears throat> 